guys, Ashley here. Um, so yeah, my face is green because I'm a witch. Witch bitch. <laughs> anyway, if you did not see my video before of my Halloween TBR, I am going to be dressing up for every video I post on BookTube this month for Halloween. Ooh, so today I'm a witch and I'm realizing this green isn't the most flattering on camera slash not really that even, but you know, deal with it. But anyway, the purpose of today's video, I'm going to be giving you my spoiler free review of There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. Woo! If you did not know, there's someone inside your house follows a girl named Makani Young. She moves in with her grandmother in Nebraska. And then one by one, students of her small town high school begin to die by just gruesome murders that get even more grotesque as the murders progress. Stephanie Perkins is also the author of Anna and the French Kiss. I used to love these so much. I would read it every summer. So when I found out my girl Stephanie Perkins had a new book, I was like, ooh, I gotta get on that. And then I found out it was a horror novel and I was like, ooh, I gotta get on that. But yeah, when I picked this up, for some reason, I thought it was gonna be like horror, paranormal horror, like ghosts and stuff, but it's not. It's more of like a slasher, murder mystery type of thing, which, ooh, I loved even more. I gave this one four out of five stars. This was definitely a lot more gruesome than I was gonna think. This is some bloody graphic stuff. I feel like for young adult, it could definitely be adult because it's just so graphic like the murders which i live for i live for but damn it's pretty bloody if you don't like the stuff you might not like it but i liked it i liked it a lot and of course in traditional stephanie perkins fashion even though it's a murder mystery there is a boy that she meets named ollie so like yeah either or they're on this hunt to find the killer and then of course you have that trope and you're like is he the killer you don't really know who the killer is so even though this is all happening you still have these really really cute moments between the two characters. How does Stephanie Perkins manage to make me feel the feels when all this murdering bloody crap is going down? But she does, of course, because she is the queen of cute relationships. Mm-hmm. This definitely gave me the vibes of that slasher TV series Scream, Riverdale, Pretty Little Liars, in the sense of it's like it's a small town, there's a murder that has occurred, there's a mystery. I definitely got those vibes from this. Another thing which I was pleasantly surprised about is there is a lot of diversity in There's Someone Inside Your House, which is always great. You know, sexual diversity, diversity, racial diversity, all, all the diversities. So that was a nice feature as well. I really liked There's Someone Inside Your House. And I think I only gave it four stars just because the murder itself, I think, took a while to pick up. Because, I mean, obviously the kids, they do start dying from the very beginning of the book and progressively grow throughout the novel. But things don't get resolved to the very, very end like most books do. And when it did get resolved, I thought it was fairly quickly. It was another one of those books where I reached the last page, you know, things are solved, you know, everything's good, you know what's up, and then... It just ends, especially in contemporaries. If you consider this a contemporary murder mystery type thing, I like to see an epilogue, some resolve with the characters and themselves, how things turned out, what happens to the people, but it kind of just ends right in the middle of the action. So it's like the whole book is like this, and then you reach the peak, and the peak is the end, and that's it. So I, that's why I gave it four stars, just because I was like, oh man, it got super good. I was reading it, and I was like, yeah, this is good, and then it got really good, and then it just ended. I was like, oh, boo. <laughs> I have never read a murder mystery in Young Adult, and it was really nice to see one that was so well done, and that wasn't scared to get really gruesome and graphic, because I'm all about graphic <laughs> nature. Mm. I really liked it. Don't be perceived, it's not scary, so if you're afraid of ghosts, it's not that, not that at all. And the only reason I thought that is because at the beginning, when one of the girls, she's in her kitchen, she notices things being moved around, so that's why I thought it was going to be like this ghost thing, because being me, I didn't really read the summary. I just saw, ooh, Stephanie Perkins has a new book, I'm going to read it. But it isn't paranormal horror, it's more like psychological thriller murder mystery horror slasher. Something I have to add, and this isn't a spoiler because it's literally the first sentence of this book, but the first girl when she notices stuff starting to get moved around and it's freaking her out. Chapter 1, the egg shaped timer was on the welcome mat when she came home. <laughs> out of all the things that could have been moved around your house that you're getting freaked out, it's got it's that egg shaped timer over there, you know. 
Gotta fear those egg-shaped timers. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's all I have to really say about There's Someone Inside Your House. I definitely recommend you pick it up this month. It is a new release, and it's a Halloween season. If you want a creepy murder on the edge of your seat to give you anxiety, sweaty palms type of thing, I definitely recommend There's Someone Inside Your House. I loved it a lot, and I can't wait to see what else Stephanie brings out to the table. Hopefully, she'll bring out more books like this or even another romance. I don't know. I'm always up to read anything by that woman. My name is Ashley. This has been Ashley Outpage. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like in the number below. Leave a comment. Have you read this one? What do you think? Please feel free to continue leaving me suggestions on what I should do to my face for every video. I've seen a couple of you do it and I am taking them into consideration. I'm super hyped about this whole Halloween thing. I'm sorry if this sucks. It's not as good as my cat makeup, but you know. I painted my whole face green for you guys. Enjoy it. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And my name is Ashley. This is Ashley L. Page. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.